Hey cuties, hope all of you are having a great Wednesday. Um, to update you guys on Timmy, he is doing a lot better. He's at the vet still. Hopefully we get to take him home tomorrow, but he's doing a lot better. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'll do like a full video, I think, on him maybe tomorrow or something or whenever we have him home so you guys can see a little bit on how he's doing and how he looks and stuff like that. So, um, that's for that. Um, on Monday, if you guys did catch my Monday video, um, I did say that this video I would be talking about religion. I'm gonna sneeze, I think. Um, oh my god. <coughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna be talking about religion. The reason I decided to pick this as a topic is just because, like, my parents are very much, um, into their faith. Um, their faith is Catholic. I've mentioned it before in a previous video, so yeah, let me fix this so that I'm centered. Um, so yeah, their faith is Catholic and they're very much into it. Um, and they like to push their beliefs on me. And I've noticed they try to push it on other people sometimes, like don't, they like, maybe not as offensively as they push it on to me, but they still do, like, mention it among other people and stuff like that. Um, where do I start? Like, I guess the first thing I, I have to say, like, I grew up Catholic, I grew up with the religion, I grew up with all of that, um, and when I came out, I mean, obviously my parents were like, that's not the way of God, that's not the way of Catholicism, blah, 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 whatever. And... I mean, they love me, they care about me, and they still accept me, whatever, but, um, they, I feel sometimes their religion clouds, like, their rational judgment, if that makes sense, like, they're gonna choose their religion over their child, I mean, I don't know, like, I guess some people would argue, yeah, you should do that, and then some people would be like, no, that's messed up. I fall under the, that's kind of messed up. I don't want to offend anybody, and if I do, I re I'm really sorry if I offend you. Um, I'm not, like, anti-Catholicism or anything like that. Just for me, it doesn't work for me, and these are just my opinions and how, the, how all of this reflects on me as a person, how I feel about it. Like, I don't... Like, if my partner was into Catholicism, I'd be fine with it. Like, whatever, you can do whatever you want. Just don't try to impose your beliefs on me. So, um, yeah. That's my little disclaimer. Um, that being said, like, I just... They've always tried to push it on me growing up, and I've th there's been previous, uh, previous incidences where I've told them, listen, like, especially my mom, because she's the one that pushes a lot more. Um, I've told her, like, listen, I'm not into it, you need to stop, because the more you force it is the more that I push away from it. Um, I just feel that, like, Catholicism as a whole is just very hypocritical, um, it's very, like, fake to me, it's very, um, and I'm not saying, like, it's a fake religion, I'm saying that, like, the people, the leaders within the religion are very fake, are very, like... I don't, they are very, like, not what I feel a religion should be about, if that makes sense. Um, like, first of all, you have the whole priest raping little boys, I mean, first off there, and they're condemning all the gay people and, and transgender people and all that stuff because they think we're freaks or whatever it might be. Um, and I'm like, well, I'm not like, but what crosses my mind is, you know, bitch, you're raping little boys. Who are you to tell me what I'm doing with my life and how to live my life? You need to calm the fuck down and you need to move that shit somewhere else. Um, so yeah, like, that's how I feel about that. Um, and I just think that nobody should really try to impose their beliefs on on you no matter what it is I mean it's my life or it's your life or whatever like you're the owner of your own life you know what I mean does that make sense like the owner of your own life you can choose how you want to live you can choose what you want to do you can choose how you want to do things in your life I mean 
I don't think that anybody should tell you how to do what you want to do with your life as long as you're not hurting anybody or yourself obviously um another thing is like i don't need a religion to tell me what's right and what's wrong i mean it's common sense a lot of children out there don't know shit about religion and they know what's right and what's wrong they know the variable concepts of it i mean obviously if i punch somebody in the face i'm causing them pain i wouldn't like somebody to punch me in the face so in turn that's a bad thing because pain is bad unless you're a freak and you like that kind of kind of sex where you like pinch and get cut and pain and stuff like that but you know that's your own thing i mean you can enjoy it if you want to um but in general speaking like you know somebody taking something that belongs to you is a bad thing because it makes you sad and they're doing something mean to you i mean obviously like it's a common concept i mean i don't need a religion to tell me how to live my life um it's common sense i mean if you don't have common sense maybe um religion could help you in a way but overall i don't think it helps me at all like i don't feel that what they teach me is anything out of this world you know what i mean it's common sense um don't get me wrong i believe that there's a higher power somewhat I mean, I kind of want to believe that there is a higher power. I'm not sure if I'm there yet. Like, I'm kind of on the fence with that. Like, with agnostic and atheist. Just somewhere around that um, realm of belief system. Um, so, yeah. Like, I just feel that anybody that tries to impose their religion on you is just a big... Dumbo, I don't know, like, I couldn't think of a better word, but, yeah, they're a bitch. So, um, yeah, I don't feel anybody should impose their beliefs on you. They shouldn't tell you how to live your life. They shouldn't, um, judge you, obviously, on how you're living your life, and they shouldn't, um, presume that they know so much about the world, that they know so much about, about whatever, whoever, whomever the higher being is, um, they shouldn't presume because you haven't had a tete-a-tete -tete with him, you haven't had tea with him, you haven't conversed with him, you haven't had lunch with him, or her, for that matter. So, I don't think you should presume that you know so much that you know what's right in the world and what's wrong. I mean, obviously the common stuff, like, don't kill somebody, yeah, but I'm saying, like, as far as, like, how people live their lives, you shouldn't, you shouldn't judge how somebody lives their life, and you shouldn't as assume that you know how they how or what the right path is and um yeah that's pretty much how i feel about it that's how i feel about religion as far as catholicism other religions i don't really have an opinion about because i i really haven't been exposed to it um also al although some are a little more extreme than others um but yeah like i haven't been exposed to any where i could be like oh i hate this or i like this or i like that just Catholicism I've been exposed to and I'm not a fan of it and yeah um my cousin practices Buddhism so um I've been exposed to that a little bit and I could jump on that I could get into it like it seems it seems pretty like by bi not biased but impartial to everything they're just kind of like I mean I don't know the fundamentals of it but from what I understand about it is they're like live and let live as long as you're not hurting anybody and you're living your life to the fullest everything's cool and chill and you know peace on you're gonna go to a better place or you'll what's the thing when you come back as another creature you'll reincarnate you'll reincarnate that doesn't sound right you'll your in your reincarnation will be something preferable versus a cockroach so, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you guys on this lovely Wednesday. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share if you dare. And, yeah, Timmy's doing okay. Thank you for everyone that wished him well and wished him the best. Um, he's doing better, and we're going to go see him soon. So, take care. I love you guys. Peace out, and have a wonderful week. And remember... Don't let anybody tell you how you should or shouldn't live your life. It's your life. You make your decisions. As long as you don't hurt anybody or hurt yourself. Also, 
watch out for Friday's video where I talk about shoes for transgendered people and heels and all that fun stuff. So I will see you guys later. Take care. Mwah. Bye.